Hello. What's up? Good morning. It is Saturday. It's a beautiful April spring morning. April 17, no, it's not. 2024. No, it's not. No. It's May. <laughs> um, we are well, here. Closer, so we are here to continue fixing that. What is it called? Countertop. Countertop. Cabinet situation. Um, We're trying to finish the framing of it. And then hopefully put the, um, uh, me and my hopefullys, and put the top on it. Because yeah. we're going to finish it today. Well, our hope is that next week we will be going on a little road trip. Mm -hmm. So we really want to get this um, a bit more usable yeah. this week. Um, because we want to stay for at least a week. And right now the way that it's set up, really after a couple of days, it just gets to be a little too much. So yeah, It gets a little overwhelming when you don't have like countertop to put something you know so, so hopefully we'll get that finished and then maybe do like the window trim finally yeah i know we've been saying we're gonna finish that like <laughs> freaking a year ago so um and then we'll see maybe we can start on the other counter too nobody yeah. knows we'll see what happens but at least the goal is to finish that one so let's do it okay our first step is that we need to measure this so we know how big to cut the board Safety first. Although in this case it's more like safety second. Okay, let's see. Does it fit? That doesn't look great. What happened? What do you mean it doesn't look right? It's on the this side, the bottom. There, that's not an inch. No, I know this side needs cutting stuff, but the 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 height is almost there. Yeah, no, the height's like great, but the the bottom. And there's a gap on this side in the back. So see, it's actually perfect because we don't have to cut it again. But this is the part that I don't know how we're going to cut it. Chill. Which I guess this doesn't really matter. Let me see if you can see what he's talking about right there. Okay, let's try this again. We shaved just a little bit off. All right, 75 tries later. Let's see. It's still like a quarter of an inch off, dude. Nope. Nope. I don't understand this boat, man. I don't know how you figure this out, bro. Your brain fascinates us. A quarter of an inch off right here, and we have cut that 17 different times, and it's still a quarter of an inch off. Like, what do you mean? Because look at how the wall is there, and I don't know how to anticipate that cut. So, like... Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Because if you measure that one, you know it has to be a quarter of an inch off here. Back. It has to be an inch back. Yeah. Inch well, it's, back. A it's three quarters of an inch back right now. So it's too far? Yeah. So you got to start over? No, yeah. no, no. It's... It, we need another quarter of an inch back. Oh, that's... Okay. So we're still good. It's just I don't know how to make that match. Correct. Yeah. I, what what do I need to cut? Is it the gap? Yeah. So this particular way, the easiest way to do this is to actually trace it. I, I don't. I I pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> I just I my brain don't work, man, with that. I get it. We tried um, five. Teen times, five teen, five teen times, five teen times, and we're calling in an expert again. So, and I know we had to like rig that one because it's crazy. from the wall. It's yep. twenty three inches. Well, that's not going to tell you. Do you have your level? So here's the deal. You didn't. We didn't build this in a shop, right? So no. it's not all square and all that nonsense no. because we just don't roll that way. As long as it yeah, works. The 
So now I gotta shave off that. Yep, so shave this off. We had more than a quarter inch gap down here. Okay. And I used a washer on the pin to trace the line of the wall, okay. or a jigsaw, and I actually cut that off, and that'll get you close enough that trim will hide it. And all that'll hide with trim. Yeah, with the trim. Yeah. Well, and to be quite honest, like none of this van is perfect. It just needs to be usable. It's like my motto. I mean, that's be my perfect, thought. Just be usable. Just, just be able to be used. Take number 17,000. Okay. That looks significantly better. <laughs> what do you think? Hold on, look at me. I don't know. Look, we help him too. It's not just him that helps us. part the dot I put the beautiful guy and that guy and now we're gonna measure this that piece Almost a cabinet. What are you doing, Jessica? I'm measuring the bottom so now we can make another one of these across the bottom. Cool. Get it, get it. Can you grab it? Got it, got it. Oh. Listen, young man. I'm trying to help you. There you go. Thanks, Alex. Fan has now decided to leave me and I'm struggling to get back into the swing of it. My coffee has worn off. I'm just my brain is struggling to want to do anything now, but luckily we have an Alex. What I do? I just like my brain can't handle the doing things for more than a like couple hours. Whatever. It's honestly not even that I'm hot or not even that I'm tired. I'm just struggling to focus now. Yep, that works. Why are there so many flies? Put that one there. That one there. And then two on the bottom. Since we don't have Alex on a microphone, I'll be his microphone. True that. Let me pre-drill these so it makes it a little easier on life. So let me pre-drill these so it makes it a little easier on life. This board isn't going to be level because the van's not level. What we need it to be a square to the bottom of the cabinet. So, yeah. And to be honest, we're making we're making all of this up as we go, so you know, it is what it is. Should we double check and make sure that the sink fits? Should 
just to be sure. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yep. Oh, perfect. Actually. We're good. Cool. Okay. Okay, so what we're doing in order to have something to screw the countertop to is cutting a few of these where those lines are. We're gonna put some holes in them for the screws to go up into, and then those will basically sit between like the wood that we've already put in and then the countertop, right? Yep, and this is aluminum. Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm trying to put safety goggles on and I already have sunglasses on. It's not working. How pretty that sky is today. That's like ridiculously pretty. I mean, really? What a beautiful day it is. What a beautiful day. That's crazy. That's, that's pretty dope. 101 year old windmill. Time to open the countertop. Teamwork. Half of 11 is five and a half. Where'd you get 11, Knuckle Chuck? You just said 11. No. <laughs> you call me a Knuckle Chuck? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, Knuckle Chuck. Knuckle Chuck. Knuckle Chuck. Knuckle Chuck. Knuckle Chuck. Knuckle Chuck. Oh my Atlanta. Do you feel like I'm the paparazzi? What do you do, Jessica? That's you. You don't yeah, mess yeah, it up. Yeah. I mean, you can. Whoop whoop! We got a sink. Cool. Sink. Good job. Go team. That came out cool. Go team, go. Go Chris. Go Chris, go. That's pretty nice. I mean, I think that works well, don't you think? Or is that too far out? I think it would be all right, man. All right, so this is pretty much it. We're gonna leave it here for the day. But I mean, it, it works. We just need to take this home and sand it and give it um, some polyurethane and then we can actually screw it onto here, do the little sealant, like, um, what's that called? Silico seal silicone? <laughs> silicone. And then that's pretty much good to go. So yeah, I think this is where we're gonna leave it for the day and we'll see you tomorrow. today is to I don't know what is our goal for today um, to more paint it. oh yeah, yeah yeah to get the rest of the bed area painted and then hopefully to kind of start to frame out the other side of cabinets the door side mm -hmm. um, and then that way once we have that framed out we can actually start to get started start to get started we can get started on 
doing the floor as well. So yeah, that's our goal. Um, my aunt had this little fridge in her shed that her husband had used and he has passed away and she doesn't really have any use for it now. So she traded it to us. So we basically got it for free. Um, yeah. So that's kind of nice. That'll, that'll help when we go on little road trips to not have to take a cooler. So we're kind of marking out sizing because the plans that we have are a little bit different than how we've actually built the van because um, we've been using Court and Nate's van life layout dimension situation, but it's a little bit different than what ours has actually ended up being and we have different, like a different refrigerator, a different toilet, all of that. So we basically just want to lay this out and make sure that it's going to work for what we have. Okay, while he's quiet, what we're doing is basically building out the like platform for that cabinet to go on. We decided to do this one out here to make sure that it's actually square. And then we can trim, we can trim any of the like gaps to make it look decent. We didn't drink enough water yesterday, so we're making up for that today. Because you're crazy today, just a little. Well, you didn't wake up until the morning. I told you we didn't have to come. Okay. No, we need to come. Craig and we're digging. Craig and we're digging. Alright, so we're screwing this down to the floor after much deliberation and considering that we've decided that building it outside won't work because we don't have the brain power for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. So we're just um, screwing it down to the floor now. And then, yeah, we'll just build on top of it like we did the other one. Yep. It's going nowhere. Going nowhere. Ooh, ooh, it's dirty. All right. I think we're going to take just a little bit of a break and go grab some lunch and some more coffee. Because both of us are tired and a little hungry. So we will be back. is doing the floor I am starting to paint things but I couldn't get the can open Gracias. all right so I've got a first coat done um, as much as I can do anyway I need a brush to be able to get like there and the little corners and all of that but my parents are bringing me a brush so once they bring that I can get that finished and is it even a Jesse painting video if I don't get paint on me somehow? I don't think so. All right, so we don't have enough of that like nice smooth plywood to be able to do both sides of that other cabinet. And really we only need it on the side that's like facing the world. So we just decided to use this kind that we had already um, to do the inside wall 
and the like inside the cabinet divider. And then we'll use that nice plywood to do the outside wall. That's how tall it's gonna be. Too short. It's a little shorter than that one, but not much. What, like maybe a half inch? Roughly, yeah. I think that's fine. But yeah, I think that's totally fine. It's close enough. You want to trace the back like, like we did on that side? Yeah, with the, like your brother did it? Yeah, we could do that. I mean, it would make it sit a little bit more better. It will sit a, a little, little more, more better. better. My dad got here with the nail gun, so we are just nailing that floorboard in place. Jess is going to take over because she's the master at the nail gun. And I know I don't need to mansplain to you. So I'm not gonna say nothing. Now let's screw in to there, buddy bear. <laughs> so we kind of um, just got into a groove and stopped filming for a minute, but basically it was just a lot of cutting and screwing things in. And this is where we're at currently. The next step is gonna be to do this board and then the bottom board and then we'll put the back on and then we'll basically be pretty done for today so that is the next step all right we're at the point where we're both starting to get a little loopy things are getting a little crazy up in here and i think we're both starting to get hot and tired but we are so close we're so close so we're gonna try to push through and just get these next couple of boards cut and put up and then we are gonna head home so wish us luck okay okay there you go it works all right i think that's where we're gonna call it for today thank you for watching um please remember to Give us a like, yeah, like give us a subscribe. thumbs up if you like this video, and subscribe for, for more videos. Yeah, and show your friends, you know, why not? Yeah, why your not? neighbors. Why not? Might as well. <laughs> <laughs> well. Well, see you next time. What's up, YouTube? But the van's not level. Well, it, you can go perpendicular with the world. Um, it's difficult to perpendicular explore. with the world. Yeah, don't don't use that. <laughs> We're just gonna have to make it work, right? Just gotta make it work. Dude. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, we just gotta make it work. Somewhat, as long as it's something. <laughs> as long as it's perpendicular to the world. It's gotta be perpendicular <laughs> to the world. Jeez, Lord, shit. that's a big yeah. that's Jesus. The smallest one I could find. <laughs> that's not a knife. <laughs> Okay, so, if that guy shuts up for a second, I can tell you what we're doing. Did you hear the woodpecker? <laughs> the woodpecker? Where's he at? I heard him over here. I don't think I saw him before. I didn't see him, but I heard him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, no, don't touch me, I'm hot. <laughs> Don't touch me. All right, come on. All right, Let's serious. Get this done. Be real. <laughs> All right, uh, butthead. <laughs> um, I think that's where we're gonna Jesse, call it. Jesse, you have a booger. <laughs> Do I? No. Okay. All right, peace out. Bye. Well. Well. <laughs>